Hello, I'm Dr. Maple, and I'll be your dermatologist today. Now, I'd like to start by just confirming your name and your birth date. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we like to double check just in case. Perfect. Well, what can you tell me about your main concerns for coming in today? Was there a specific problem you're looking to address or you just wanted to check overall on the health of your skin? Mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah, that's very normal. Uh-huh. Okay, perfect. And do you have any allergies to latex? Any medications? Any foods as well? Yeah? Okay. Good. Would you say this is a bad day for your skin health? A good day or a pretty average day? Yeah, okay, we can look into that. Any suspicious moles? Any that have changed in size or shape or color? Any that are painful? No, no problem. What about any other new developments with your skin? Any itchiness, dryness, redness that hasn't been there before? Mm hmm Yeah, I can look into that for sure. Okay, and sunscreen usage? Do you use sunscreen every day? Only when you're going to the beach? Never? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine, but sunscreen is very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll talk a little bit later about routines, but that's fine for now. Um, what about family history? Is there any family history of skin conditions? Anything that you think might be related to any of your issues? Yeah, okay. And what about your general diet? Would you say that you eat fairly healthy, fairly unhealthy? What does a general week look like for you for food? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty typical. And last question, what about your sleep? Do you get a consistent amount of sleep? Would you say that you get good quality sleep? Does it depend on if it's a work day or a day off? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty common. Okay, well that is enough for now. Um, I'm just going to start by doing a very brief visual inspection. Yeah, I'm 
going to afterwards cleanse your skin and then do a more in-depth inspection with, with gloves, don't worry. But for now, I just want to see what I'm working with, kind of, because this is how you would generally be throughout the day. Yeah, exactly. So, do I have permission to get a little bit closer? Thank you. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not going to touch anything just yet. I just want to have a brief idea of what I'm working with. Could I get you to raise your chin? Yeah. I'm just gonna look at the skin on your neck. Yeah. Sometimes the neck can show us just as much information as on the face. Okay, I don't see any issues on why I wouldn't be able to continue, so I'm going to clean your skin now. So, let me get some gloves. Now, this is a very gentle cleanser. There's no harsh ingredients in it. So, it's good for sensitive skin. It's good for oily skin. It's good for dry skin. This is good for anything you might have. So, it's good to have around the office. Just gonna come in with the cleanser now. Again, it's very gentle, so there won't be any stinging or anything like that. So let me just come in here and clean it off. Yeah. I like to make sure to get into all the little creases and little hard to get areas because those are usually where we get the most dirt and oil build up like in the little crease in our nose yeah but that's very normal I just get you to raise your chin again? Yeah, I'm just gonna get your neck. Yeah. The neck is quite sensitive as well, so I like to give it a clean. Perfect. I'm just gonna get in closer now for a bit more in-depth inspection. I'm going to be gently palpating the skin in some areas just to see how dry or how bouncy it is and see how it kind of reacts, okay? Yeah, but I'll be very, very gentle, so I'm not going to be pulling and prodding away. Don't worry about that, okay? Yeah. Okay, let's start with your forehead. Good. 
with the UV as well because it can help us find sun damage or any damage to the skin that might be harder to see under a regular light. Okay, so here we go. So now that I know what I'm working 
working with fully. I'm gonna do a full routine for you just to make sure your skin is in tip-top shape. Yeah, and then at the end of the appointment, I'll be giving you some little tips to do at home and I'll also make you a little skincare routine for at home, okay? Yeah. So first, I'm just going to put on some exfoliant. So, this is going to be a little bit grainy, but this is a very gentle exfoliant, so it's not going to be too rough. Yeah, exactly. It's not like sandpaper grating against your skin. It's just a nice, gentle rubbing. very gentle underneath your eyes. Yeah, this is where the skin is the most delicate. So you always want to be very gentle. Just little circular movements with a little bit of pressure. Nothing too crazy. Just to get rid of any dirt and oil and dead skin cells. Yeah. There we go. And could I get you to look up for me? I'll do your neck here. Good. Good. Perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna use some more cleanser to wipe all the residue off. Whenever I exfoliate, I always get little grains in my hairline. So, one thing I like to do at least is to exfoliate when I'm in the shower before I've rinsed out my shampoo. And then it'll clean all the extra bits away and it's a lot easier than just in the sink. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier and accessible to your routine, I think. Okay, there we are now. Now let me just get a clean here. I'm just going to Get some toner. I just like to shake it up a bit first. Okay. toner will just help close up the pores that we just cleaned. Yeah, it's an important step that a lot of people skip, but what's the point of cleaning out our skin if we're just going to leave our pores 
nice and open and available for more dirt and oil. Yeah, it kind of defeats the purpose, doesn't it? But we're gonna get you nice and toned today. Okay, and then next, since you were saying you've had some dry skin, before I put on your moisturizer, I'm going to put on a very fast-acting medicated face mask, and basically it allows your skin to absorb the moisturizer a lot better. Yeah, so I'll just be brushing it on to you, but it dries very, very quickly. So let me just brush that on. Perfect. Just a really thin layer. Okay, just this side. Good. How does that feel? Yeah, it does feel a little bit drying at first, just because it dry so fast, but don't worry, you'll be feeling fresh and moisturized in just a second. Okay, let's peel that bad boy off. Okay, got it all in one piece. That always feels nice. And then next, I'm just going to put on some moisturizer. So like I said, that mask will now help your skin absorb the moisturizer really, really well. Yeah. Basically, what it does is lock in the moisturizer so you get effects from the moisturizer for much longer than you would otherwise. Just your chin. Yeah, gotta get into your neck there. Don't want to miss it. Okay, perfect. And then if you want to take your hands and kind of pat in. Yeah, it works. 
works a lot better with skin than with gloves. Thank you. So, last thing I'm gonna do is just put on a little bit of spot treatment. This is for under your eyes. There we go. And when this goes under your eyes, this has vitamin C and some other nutrients and basically it makes them look more fresh and awake and yeah, it has a lot of health benefits there and it makes you look nice not that you didn't already look nice you look very nice already okay, I'm just gonna be very slow and gentle here under your eyes I don't want to accidentally get any into your eyes or damage the skin here. There we go. And the other side. Okay, I think you are all done. So, let me just take these off. Okay, so your skin seems to be reacting really nicely the products that I use today. So what I'm gonna do is I'll send you an email later today with some recommendations for specific products for your skin as well as a skincare routine and basically I'll give you a few different options for each product. So a few different toners, a few different moisturizers, stuff like that, but I'll mention which ones we use today in case you really liked the ones we use today, then you can go ahead and buy those. And then what I'll do is I'll schedule a follow-up appointment with you in about a month and we'll just see how the new skincare is working for you see if there's been any changes anything like that but feel free to send me an email or or call if if you notice anything bad right away yeah just stop using all the products and we can figure out based on the reaction what it was usually Other than that, just a couple helpful tips based off of what I've seen today. The first one is that I would definitely recommend getting a moisturizer with SPF in it, um, which all the moisturizers that I will be recommending to you do have SPF. But yeah, I find that when you have a moisturizer with SPF, it it usually isn't as oily based because it's specifically made for for the face skin which does act a bit different than different skin but the other reason why I always recommend it is because some people do either forget to use sunscreen or they just think it's a hassle and so they don't do it what's one day without sunscreen so I think if it's in your moisturizer, it's a lot easier to introduce into your regu regular routine. Yeah, exactly. 
Um, a few other things. I would definitely recommend eating more fruits and veg and less processed foods like processed fats and processed carbs when possible because fruit and veg really do have the nutrients to help the building blocks of our skin stay healthy like collagen and all that good stuff. Yeah. The next two, I know that everyone always says this, but drink more water and get more sleep. Those are two things that can really help the skin both in its health and its appearance. Yeah, especially with the under eye area. Getting a lot of water and sleep will really help there. And the body really does need water in order for the skin to look like it's been moisturized. Mm -hmm. And the last thing I'm going to say is that since you do have some blemishes on the sides of your cheeks, one of the things that could cause that is your pillowcases just accumulating bacteria and oil as you're sleeping. And so two things you can do are either wash your pillowcases more regularly and that'll help that'll help that area a little bit. Yeah. Or another thing you can do is get some antibacterial pillowcases. Uh, they do make some cheaper synthetic ones. I do always recommend silk pillowcases, although I know that those can be quite expensive, but they do also help your hair as well, so there are numerous benefits. Yeah, and they're also very soft, so you feel good as well. Well, that is everything for today. I hope that your skin feels nice and rejuvenated. Like I said, I'll be sending you your customized routine later today, but yeah, thank you so much for coming in to see me today, and I'll see you soon. Bye.